there, everybody, and welcome to some first headshot MLG 360 no scope kablam MLG Pro Sniper XX420 headshot weed bong hit for life skull punisher zombie XX killer 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 420 killer 69 punisher sniping headshot stuff. That is indeed, I have lost all of my mental sanity and finally broke down to play some sniper in Team Fortress 2. Now, First of all, I will explain the loadout. We are using the Bizarre Bargain, Jurati, and the Bushwhacker, which is probably the real only weapon I use. I kill probably more people with this thing than I do actual bullets, because who needs bullets? You got crits, right? Right. So, next thing we are using is Jurati. I'm pretty sure that's pretty self-explanatory. That is just for the extra crazy damage with the bushwhacker, but the bizarre bargain is the real bargain of this video. video. Ho ho, you see what I did there? Demo man's saving my life because he is a good man. Bizarre bargain was released a while ago. It's actually five, strangely, five dollars on the store. It is actually a rifle like the sniper rifle, but the, oh, lord. Don't even make a joke there. Don't even do it. Don't even. Anyways, though, the bizarre bargain is a strange weapon. Not in the regards of it being an orange text weapon, but it is a strange weapon to me. It only charges up the more headshots you have done, and the less body shots you do while scoped in, the less heads you'll get. Say you have five heads, you're going to zoom in like whoosh, faster than the vanilla default rifle, and you will be pulling off some crazy 360 no scope trick shots with it like a champion. The only downside is though, every time you zoom in, I'm not sure if it works while you're zoomed out because I had this happen quite a few times, if you're zoomed in and you miss the shot or you get a body shot, it will negate your head bonus and you will lose head. Nobody likes losing head because everybody likes getting it. That makes complete sense to me. So, it's similar to the way the Islander works but with a lot more penalties to it. Therefore, I said I've lost my mental sanity, wearing a Christmas tree on my head and we are going to go shoot people and shoot people and shoot people. But as I said, I am not the greatest sniper in the world. I am that sniper you don't want on your team. I am that guy that is, well, that guy. He believes that you should rather kill people with melee weapons rather than actual bullets because who needs bullets? Bullets are overrated. As that heavy would say in front of me, I have yet to meet one that can outsmart bullet. Well, you just did. I don't believe in them bullets because I can't seem to hit them for the life of me. But I do have a little bit more accuracy. I've been practicing with Sniper a lot more. And that is why I also include some amazing scout footage for you. See you like there. A normal sniper would probably have zoomed in with his scope, but I am not a normal sniper because I do not believe in stupid things like standing still in a corner and shooting walls and getting only headshots. And for some reason my anger and frustration didn't let me record the end of that round when we won. So switching over to some scout, we are using the default scatter gun and of course the cleaver and Sandman combo because I actually really like this combo, but as I said previously it seems to be either one way or the other, I can only hit one or the other. Hardly ever do I even get that full crazy crit damage with both of them at the same time. I don't know why, I guess the Team Fortress 2 gods say, no, your accuracy, you don't need it. Or maybe it's just because my accuracy is like a walrus taking a mouthful of aspirin and drowning itself. That seems about correct. So here's the actual scout gameplay. And I have a lot to talk about in this video while this is going on. First of all, I would like to point out that yes, indeed, I am doing a lot more Team Fortress 2 videos lately, and that is because, well, I have a lot planned for October. That is pretty true. I have a lot planned for October, a lot of creepy games, a lot of fun games I've wanted to do, and yes, indeed, I will be uploading Half-Life 2 when I get around to doing it. But I will be doing a lot of horror-themed games recently next on my channel. Do not go and say I am copying PewDiePie because I will find you and eat your spleens because, I don't know. Too good for liver because I don't like to drink, so I, I can stand fava beans, but I don't think I'd want to drink any Chianti right now. Anyways, capping the points and actually feeling useful because when I'm playing Koth, I don't care. I don't want to be useful. As you may have heard in the last few videos where I play Scout, I don't play Scout like, I need to kill everybody. I need to actually just buckle down, shoot people, and be a distraction, and shoot snipers because that seems to be the only thing I kill in this video is snipers, spies, and everything else in between. Because that's only snipers and spies. But anyways, going to be explaining a couple more loadouts to the future for Team Fortress 2 now. I am planning on doing annoying loadouts next. Probably going to do a backburner strange combo. I don't know exactly what it's going to be just yet. But I want to make loadouts that are annoying. So if you feel free to post some crazy annoying loadouts. Because I also have a Pompson 6000 for such occasion. I will probably be doing the worst engineer gameplay 
with a Texan accent, because why not? I'm from Oregon. We have that southern drawl, don't you know? So, <laughs> anyways, I hope you guys are also enjoying the new stuff I've been putting out. Like I said, I've been playing a lot more Team Fortress 2 lately, and I hope you guys are enjoying that, because I'm enjoying it. It's good to be back into a game I haven't really played very much of, because I've been so busy with life, busy things like that, and useless things. And as you can see, like I said, being a distraction, not going to go take on that demo man. I don't have enough health to do that. Another thing I was debating for this video was actually to use the guillotine and or the pretty voice pocket pistol because I got one of those bad boys. The reason being is because it would make it so you don't have a health negation for using the Sandman. That's kind of an important thing because if you had the pretty voice pocket pistol out with any other thing aside from the Sandman, you will get 140 health. Put that together with a candy cane and you have yourself infinite health. I love how I just found that spy too. I was like, huh, gonna wing a shot, gonna get somebody. And of course, well, I did. I felt pretty happy about this. Another thing I'm looking forward to doing in Team Fortress 2 is trying to get a strange bot killer weapon. That is my next goal in life in this game because it makes so much more use of my life anyways, right? Exactly. Because, I don't know, I only looked over Man vs. Machine very briefly in this game and I really didn't play it as much as I thought I was going to. I have a lot more fun with default Team Fortress 2 because, I don't know, Man vs. Machine is more of a friend thing. And I don't have any friends because that makes complete sense, doesn't it? I'm just kidding, by the way. Anyways, going on to this mound, this round here, mound, I don't see any mounds. Well, there's mounds of sand that's close enough, in my opinion. I love how I die. I did not see that coming. I really, really didn't. And anyways, Lakeside is a map, though. For some reason, I like to play Scout on, and I don't know where that health kit came from. It... It's, 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 it's just there. There's some things you don't explain, just like how I didn't get that health kit as well. But anyways, Lakeside is a map I really don't like to play on very much, but it's, it's Koth and I wanted to lose my mental insanity and gain it back very quickly. But because of this one area right here is this little closet, I don't like this map. This is why, because everyone focuses into this closet and, oh man, oh man, I think you guys are going to like this next clip here in a second. I really think that this deserves, this deserves my personal D-Bag of the Year award right here. Oh, right in the balls. You gotta, you gotta just feel kind of bad for that guy. Nobody, nobody likes that. Nobody likes being pommeled in the balls by a baseball because it hurts. Unless you don't have those and then, and you're lucky. You don't even know. You don't even know. There's the after pain and the thinking about it and I don't want to go there right now. But anyways, I hope you guys are enjoying the new content I've been putting out, trying to get a lot more Team Fortress 2 stuff, doing a lot better, practicing a lot more, and what is with this medic? He was playing grab ass at that sniper, and I don't know what he was thinking. I actually died again, because right after this, he did the exact same thing. But definitely going back on the point and being a really useful scout, I do notice a lot after watching this footage a few times that, well, uh, I'm not a very good, uh point capture person thing because I always just like to play annoying scout and yes I will try and get my hands on a soda popper hopefully I'll get one next week I hope just to be that really annoying guy that nobody wants and I really wish we won but sadly we don't win this round I don't understand why not and for some reason this map I always picture there to be health right in those little closets I don't even know can't kill pyros can't win rounds can't do anything right, like the video, whatever. 